All right. Fabulous. Hello, Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Josie Hopkins. We have so much stuff to share, and thank you for watching. Today, we begin with a brand new Minute with the Principal. Today, Mr. Keller talks with Shelby. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. I'm joined today by Shelby Jones, who you may remember was our eighth grade representative, the town of Hopkinton's representative to Project 351. And Shelby, my understanding is you have a service project coming yes, up, right? Yes, that's right. Tell us about that. So for my spring service project, this is basically Project 351 combining with Cradles to Crans, which is a nonprofit organization. And together, I'm going to uh, I'm going to host a clothing drive, and at this clothing drive, we're going to be looking for clothing, uh, footwear, and also uh, coats as well, and if possible, brand new socks and pajamas. Um, this will be in sizes for clothing in youth, zero for through 20, and adult sizes, small and medium. And for footwear, it's in infant and child sizes, zero for through 13, and adult sizes, one through 10. Um, and no matter what, all the clothing should be appropriately styled for kids because it will be kids wearing it no matter if it's in an adult size. Um, it's from March 25 to April 6, and there will be a donation box in the lobby. Um, so the reason for this is to provide comfort and support for children in need throughout Massachusetts, and I hope it does that. <laughs> awesome. So we can bring stuff in, drop it in the box, yes, you'll be collecting right. it, and then and then what happens with to it afterwards? So I will deliver it myself to a factory, and they'll sort out, like they'll do what's called a quality sort, and they'll look for what's good, something that kids would be proud to wear, and then that will actually be delivered in what's called a care kit, to kids and yeah. Well, thanks for doing this, Shelby, and for I appreciate sure. all your efforts. Thanks, Mr. Keller, and thank you, Shelby, for the awesome work. Now, you know how news outlets have to make a correction from time to time? We've been lucky here at HMS TV. Until now, we made a mistake on the Longest Decade segment. Do you remember that? Of the 1950s, the 1960s, or the 1970s, which decade was the longest. We said all decades are the same length, 10 years. Well, funny thing, that's not exactly true. Mr. Rockwood, please correct the record. The 1960s was exceptionally long due to the number of leap years during that decade. Wow, who knew? Apparently not us. Thanks, Mr. Rockwood, that was tricky. But keep going, because it's time for a new Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. On this day in history, in 1765, the Stamp Act required revenue stamps to be placed on all commercial and legal documents, as well as pamphlets, newspapers, playing cards, and dice in the United States. Also on this day in history, about 30 years later, in 1794, an act was passed prohibiting American citizens from engaging in the slave trade in foreign countries on the pain of forfeiture of their vessel as well as $82,000. That was a significant amount of money back then. Lastly, did you know that Yemen is shaped like a Y? That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day, be kind to one another, and read a great book this weekend. I like it, Mr. Rockwood. Next up, it's time for our ever-popular question of the day. Uh, someone I look up to is my friend Colleen. Mr. Mingus! I look up to Nick Chayton! My cousin all the way in England. Steve Irwin. My parents. Caillou! Bill Nye the Science Guy. Dr. Phil. Someone I looked up to is my mom because she's just my mom. <laughs> she's a role mom. I look up to my brother Cole. Mrs. Daniel, because we're going to win the homeroom challenge. Thanks to everybody who answered. Okay, let's take a look at the birthday scroll. Happy birthday, all. All right, moving right on to Have You Seen This. This week, we got four right answers. So I say, prizes to all, and I'm the anchor. So there. Congratulations, Cadence, Owen, Nithalyn, and Madeline. Our friend Miss McBride has your cool new water balls in the main office. Everyone else, have you seen this? If so, tell us where it is. 
And that's our show today. We hope you liked it. We'll be back next week with lots more, and until then, visit us at hms.today and send your thoughts and HYST entries to hmstv at hillers.org. Until next week, stay awesome. Oh. <laughs> now you know how these... Uh, it's time for our every ever pop <laughs> awkward next time <laughs> our friend Miss McGrath and HYST have from the topper yeah.